Next, we've got Neo Huang from Dimension 5. He promised me he's going to dress like Keanu Reeves in The Matrix, and then he didn't, so I'm really disappointed. But uh, he's going to talk about bridging real-time visualization and geospatial D5 renderer meets cesium. Bring it on. Yeah, thank you, thank you. So hi, everyone. Uh, good afternoon. I'm Neo from D5 Render. First of all, I want to thank uh, Cesium to, to build the great platform and community. Uh, before me, a lot of uh, speakers mentioned uh, all kinds of uh, use case practice with Cesium. So right now, I want to share our how we use Cesium with uh, real time uh, with uh, architectural visualization. So. We, so this is uh, what I will talk, cover today. Uh, uh, brief introduction and set context challenges for architects, and why we des decided to integrate season, and how to use it, finally with a demo video. So d Render is a visualization tool built for the uh, AC industry. Except those uh, three categories, we also have users from uh, Civil engineer construction. Actually, I made uh, I made uh, some of the, our users in this conference. Yeah, it's a great experience. So we have been around for five years, and we have uh, over two million users globally. So here are a few uh, features our users love: a live sync pl plugin for the all the major modeling softwares, and a very large asset library, uh, and also for AI tools. For example, for the AI uh, for material, AI for post-processing. So these AI tools free designers from tedious work. We also have a, a real-time collaboration. So this one is uh, so allowing the entire team to work on the same project simultaneously. Um, but the most, most exciting part is we are the first visualization tool to integrate Cesium. But why? Architects need Cesium. So architects has always wanted to place their design in a real world environment. So there are a few uh, ways they are trying to implement the, the, to, to put the design in a real environment. So the, you can see here there are a lot of matching, photo matching and uh, video matching, but the, it's too complicated and expensive. And some, most of the times, the results are not realistic. The third one is OpenStreetMap. It's a good start, but uh, the, the, the models are gray and boxy and low texture. So I, I want to share how we make a decision to integrate season. So the conversation started from last year. One of the world leading uh, architecture firm told us we want to use CZ in all our projects. But at the that, at that time, they were using Unreal Engine version. It's quite hard for architects to use Unreal Engine. But, but, uh, but they, they are willing to try it. That means season is great. <laughs> uh, and uh, we get more and more requests from our users when we released our OpenStreetMap uh, integration. So yeah, I, so we. Listened. So that's, uh, the system will be, ad be available with our Alex version 2.11. So next, I will show you how to use it. So the first step is to, to set up a token at different backend, at backend, and then the architects, they can just select the, uh, the project site on the map, and then just put, on the, put in the design, and then that's it. It's very easy to use. And uh, also, so here is a, a quick demo. Let me check. Uh, 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 can, can I click it? Oh. So actually, it's a video. It's a video, but uh, so this is how it looks like in D5. Uh, I just put one of our project on top of the random building in the Philadelphia city. So here uh, is my QR code. Uh, LinkedIn QR code, I would love to chat and connect if you have any questions. Thanks. <laughs> 